The first 131 natural numbers are written side by side to form a number n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 131. If n is divided by 5, 6, 2, 5 and remainder so obtained is r, find the value of r. Okay. So by this, by this you, you have to understand this is a funda of what? This is a funda of Chinese remainder theorem. Okay. So after all Chinese things were banned in India, many things, this theorem was not banned actually. Right. So if you understand this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, so this 5, 6, 2, 5, so this will do by Chinese remainder theorem, right? CRT. Okay. So 5, 6, 2, 5 is basically what, what, what is CRT and what we do in CRT? The denominator or divisor will split into two parts or three parts, right? And those parts should be co prime with each other. Okay. So let's say I'm splitting into A into B such that A and B should be co prime with each other. So I'll, I'll split like 6, 25 into 9. Okay. Now I know the rule for both these numbers, right? Like, let me write this big number as n actually. If this is n, so can I write here that n is equal to uh, n by 625, right? n by 625 is equal to n by 625. What's the remainder? Correct? So I know this. What is 625, guys? We know the rule for 625. What is 625? So 625 is 5 raised to 4. 5 raised to 4 means we only have to look for last four digits. We only have to look for last four digits. Okay. So now if it is 625, right. So what I can actually do here now. What is the last four digits here? 0, 1, 3, 1. So last four digits of the number is what? 0, 1, 3, 1. Right. So 0, 1, 3, 1 upon 625. Remainder remains 625. Okay. So that means n divided by 625. Remainder is 6. Sorry. What I have written here, right? Okay, sorry. Uh, that means remainder is 131. Okay. So n by 625 remainder is 131. Right. Similarly, if I check for further now n by 9, right? Now to find n by 9 remainder. Okay. So see guys, once you're trying to find this n by 9 remainder here. Okay. So in this 1 by n by 9, what is the rule for 9? So I know, na, because we have studied this previously also. Na, because for 9, I can make blocks of 1, 1 also. I can make blocks of 2, 2 also because from everywhere, Whenever I take common, I take the remainder, I will, I what I get, I'll get all plus one only. I'll get all plus one, right? I've discussed this concept in disability rules. Huh? You can just check, check with that, right? If you forget. So I can make blocks of one. I can make blocks of two. I can make blocks of three. For disability by nine, I can make any blocks, right? Any number of blocks. Basically, the funda is the power of 10 taken common. Every power of 10 divided by nine remainder is one. Okay. So can I directly say that once I'm doing by n, n into 9, I'll just add this all 131 natural numbers. So till 1 to 9, I'll make blocks of 1. Till 10 to 99, I'll make blocks of 2 2 digits each. And till 100 to 131, I'll, I'll make blocks of 3 3 each, right? So that it is easy for me because with, n, with 9, we are flexible. Okay. That means if I add all these 131 natural numbers, what is the result? n into n plus 1 by 2. So 131 into 132 by 2. Okay, this is the result, right? Divided by 9 remainder. Fine. So this becomes 66 actually. And it becomes 131 into 66 by 9 remainder. Again, divide by 9. So this uh, 1 plus 3 plus with 9, I can make blocks of 1 digit also. That means add the digits. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5. So here 5, here the remainder is 5 by 9, remainder is 5 only. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 by 9, remainder is 3. So 15 by 9, remainder is what? 6. Okay. So here I got remainder 131, here I got remainder as 6. What I'll do now? I know, right? So that means we'll write in this format. A number when divided by 625, remainder is 131. The format is number is of the form 625y or 625x plus 131. Same number when divided by 9, remainder is 6. That is 9y plus 6. So by Chinese remainder theorem, I'm looking to uh, satisfy the first value of this expression. That will be the answer, right? So again, it's quite big number, right? So doing hidden trial is a bit difficult. So try to go by remainder method, which, which I explained in remainders actually. Okay. If you go by remainder method, method here, so what you can observe here is, uh, n 625 by one, uh, what you do in remainder method, you try to bring, uh, you try to bring all into one side, right? So keep the left hand coefficient in the left hand, keep the smaller coefficient in the left hand side, like nine y is equal to, 625x plus 125 i can write like this Anna. 
Now divide both sides by nine and take the remainder. Divide both sides by nine, take the remainder. Why so? I explained you right in those videos. Nine y by nine. What is the remainder here? And this what is the remainder here? Okay. So nine y by nine remainder becomes zero actually. This becomes zero. Okay. Six twenty five by nine. Six plus two plus five. It is thirteen. Thirteen by nine remainder is four. This becomes four. And this becomes actually eight. Right. It's like four x plus eight by nine remainder is zero. Now quite easy to look from here because something four x plus eight by nine remainder is zero. So this numerator I want in the form of multiple of nine. Okay, so at what value of x I'll get multiple of nine? Quite simple, we can look it right. Quite easily we can look it. No, at x equal to seven because I want to make it nine. I can't make it nine. I I want to make it eighteen. I can't make it eighteen with at any value of x. Then twenty seven I can't do right. So simply I can check. Uh, it it will happen at x equal to seven, right? Because for thirty six, if above is thirty six, that's a multiple of nine by nine remainder zero. That will happen at x is equal to seven. That means x equal to seven. I should put here. If I put x equal to seven, okay, so my answer will become what? Okay, so if I put x equal to seven here, the six twenty five into seven plus one thirty one, that is equal to four three seven five plus one thirty one, four five zero six is the answer for this question. And also, also this combat guys, okay, so this a uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions, okay. So the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and uh, uh, this from this Sunday onwards it is in basically revised format. So basically we are mo moving closer to CAT right now. So in January, February, and March we were like away. Uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT. So the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right, but this from now onwards. The questions will be of higher higher level, okay, and uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually, giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get get you get your live ranking, okay. Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better your the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, the, those one hour test is a fun, and actually, if you look at the cat. You should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think okay. So rank one, two, three, one year subscription. I think around twenty thousand or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So it's a great prizes are on offer here, okay? So get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve p.m. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.